did you ever find that input you got from readers, maybe beta readers before something was out in the public or readers after a work had been published, did that take you in a direction that you hadn't expected when you first put that piece of work out there? So I would differentiate there between the book, which went through lots of beta reading and the the articles that tended to just be between my editor and I, and that kind of reading was just for clarity because when you're working for a newspaper or an online journal, you've got to get that content out very quickly. But for the book, absolutely, when we had our first readers, sometimes you'd have something that would really resonate and other times you'd have a story that just wasn't clear at all. Like I remember in the Here Be Dragons, the book you referenced, I had a long story about fishing. It's, I thought it was hilarious, this fishing story where my husband claimed that I never did anything fun for him. And so I took him on this fishing trip. It was night fishing and it was from six to eight. We were going to go fishing and we get on the boat and it turns out it's not from six to eight now, it's from six to eight tomorrow. So now we're overnight fishing and we're both horribly seasick. And at eight o'clock the next morning, I say to the captain, isn't it time to go back? And they said, it's not eight o'clock this morning. It's eight o'clock tonight. It was 26 hour fishing and I had just neglected oh to read. It was, and we were, we were ill, just <laughs> throwing up over the side of the book. And it's an uproarious, ridiculous story. And one of my beta readers said, what the heck does this have to do with parenting? And it was entirely true. It was a funny story, but it had nothing to do with parenting. And I had just put it in there because it was right before I got pregnant. And I thought the echoes of being seasick was like the echoes of morning sickness. But the readers didn't think that. They thought it was a fun story that did not belong in the book. And you know, you don't write the books for yourself. I mean, you're proud of yourself when you do, but you're, you hope that they find an audience and that they get read. So it does help to listen to the people who read your book because they're smart. <laughs> 